Hey everyone, welcome back to Beyond the Green Golf. This is Eric. Uh, so we've talked a little bit about so many different subjects so far. Um, some now it's time I think to maybe d uh, dive a little bit deeper into some of these subjects that we were talking about. You know, there's in, in golf. You know, there's lots and lots and lots of myth that's out there about uh, certain aspects of the club doing certain things or or uh, you know certain things happening. Uh, that just really don't. Uh, for instance, uh, one that I'd love to be able to address today, and it's an important one, is understanding the relationship of the shaft and what it does for when you hit a golf ball. Okay, um, One cliche that has been out there for a long time is that the shaft is the engine of the golf club. Um, well, I hate to dispel that one, and that's a tough one for some people to accept, but it's not. Um, it is, would be the equivalent of the transmission. Your body would be the engine. So at that point, let's talk about that for just a brief second. I have a great uh, analogy here. You know, if you took all of the rear wheel drive transmissions that have ever been made for any vehicle, uh, big or small, uh, and you spread them out on the warehouse floor, you would see that they shared a lot of similarities, probably in shape, obviously in function, and things like that. But, you know, for the most part, now the specialization comes in. Uh, so with that being said, um, you know, if you have something as just as simple as, uh, you know, a Chevrolet V8, a Chevy V8 motor, and now you try to take all of these different uh, transmissions and put them into that that motor, and you'll notice that a lot of them, even though they may look like, uh, like they might fit and such, there'll be a, a bunch that you'd be able to just throw away immediately that you know they wouldn't be, for probably from size. But then as you start to get down into a narrow a narrow bunch that might work, um, as you start to try to fit them onto the back of the motor, you'd notice not, not big things, but small things. They might be similar, the, the transmission might be similar in size, in dimension, but as you put it up to the back of the motor, uh, you know, the bolt pattern wouldn't work. Um, does it mean that you couldn't make it fit? Yeah, probably, you know, you could, you know, machine a plate that would be able to bolt to the motor and then to the back of the transmission and, and, and make it work. But would it, would it potentially be the best thing? Well. You know, it just depends on how seriously you want to use that particular transmission. Uh, so again, I uh, know it's one of those things that, that people need to understand. When you move and you load up a golf shaft and you go deliver it to a golf ball, it's just you. It's nobody else. So at that point, that shaft is either going to match the motion that your body has to deliver that, that club at the same point so that you make good contact or it's not or you'll be fighting it. So. Um, you know, that's the big thing when it comes to shafts is being able to make sure that, uh, you know, it's going to work with you and not against you, you know, uh, because of who plays a particular shaft or how much it costs shouldn't really come into the picture at all. You should just go off performance and very, very, very often in my experience over the years, a less expensive shaft as opposed to a more expensive shaft has worked very, very, very well for some people. So again, don't let cost get in the way, let performance get in the way. Get with a good club maker, somebody who's willing to work with you uh, and has the patience to work with you, which is another one, and test a bunch of different things. If you have to spend money on a few different shafts uh, to get to the right one, then do it. Because in the end, that's really what it's going to matter. The more time that you spend with that driver, the more that you're going to be convinced that it's going to be the best thing you've ever used. Okay, hopefully that's some good advice for everybody and hopefully everybody uh, you know, hears this and heeds this, uh, this advice. And, uh, you know, please, hey, reach out on my Facebook page. I appreciate all the, all the people that have, have sent me questions and such. Um, keep them coming in. We've got a whole bunch of subjects coming up. Uh, any comments on this one, please uh, shout out. Hey, guys, have a great day, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye.